On a somber evening at a political rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, former President Donald Trump found himself the target of an assassination attempt. The assailant, identified as 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks, a resident of Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, carried out the attack from an elevated position outside the rally. This incident has sparked widespread concern and calls for further investigation into the motives and circumstances surrounding the event. Thomas Matthew Crooks was a relatively unknown figure until this tragic event. The FBI identified him as the individual responsible for the assassination attempt on Donald Trump. Crooks, armed with an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle, fired multiple shots towards the stage where Trump was speaking. Fortunately, Trump was only grazed by a bullet on his upper right ear, resulting in a minor injury. However, one rally attendee was killed, and two others were critically injured in the chaos that ensued. Crook's background reveals a young man with a promising academic record. He graduated from Bethel Park High School in 2022 and was a recipient of a $500 star award from the National Math and Science Initiative. Despite this, his motive for the attack remains unclear. Crooks was registered as a Republican, and voter registration records show his status has been active since 2021. There is no known criminal record or history of lawsuits involving crooks in Pennsylvania. Witnesses reported seeing crooks on a rooftop about 130 yards away from the stage before the shooting began. Despite attempts by some rally attendees to alert authorities about his suspicious behavior, the attack proceeded. Secret Service agents swiftly neutralized crooks after the shots were fired, but the incident has left many questions unanswered about the security measures in place and the potential warning signs that were missed. Following the shooting, law enforcement conducted a thorough investigation at Crook's residence in Bethel Park. The house, owned by his parents since 1998, became the center of a multi-agency response. Neighbors expressed shock and fear, with the local community grappling with the reality of such violence occurring in their midst. Authorities, including the FBI and the Pennsylvania State Police, continue to investigate the incident, urging the public to provide any information that might assist in understanding Crook's motives. This incident has drawn significant attention from political figures and the media. World leaders and public figures have condemned the violence, emphasizing the need for peaceful political discourse. The attack occurred just days before the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee, where Trump was set to be formally nominated as the party's candidate. The timing has added to the tension and urgency surrounding the investigation. Social media has been abuzz with reactions to the incident. Some tweets highlighted the chaotic and bloody scene at the rally, while others focused on the swift response by Secret Service agents. The hashtag hashtag Trump rally shooting trended with many users expressing their shock and calling for increased security at political events. The investigation is ongoing, and the FBI has requested that anyone with relevant photos or videos submit them to aid in their efforts. As details continue to emerge, the focus remains on understanding why Thomas Matthew Crooks chose to carry out this attack. His background as a math whiz and a registered Republican contrasts sharply with the violent act he committed. The investigation aims to uncover any potential influences or factors that may have driven crooks to this point. Until then, the incident serves as a stark reminder of the volatility and unpredictability of political events in today's climate. Q&A Section who was Thomas Matthew Crooks? 
Thomas Matthew Crooks was a 20-year-old resident of Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, identified by the FBI as the shooter in the assassination attempt on Donald Trump. What happened at the Trump rally? Crooks fired multiple shots from an elevated position outside the rally, injuring Trump and others before being neutralized by Secret Service agents. What was Crooks' background? Crooks graduated from Bethel Park High School in 2022, was recognized for his academic achievements, and was a registered Republican. What weapon did Crooks use? Crooks was armed with an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle during the attack. How did the authorities respond? Secret Service agents neutralized Crooks shortly after he began firing. Law enforcement agencies are conducting an ongoing investigation. Were there any warnings before the shooting? Witnesses reported suspicious behavior by crooks before the shooting, but it was not enough to prevent the attack. What is the current status of the investigation? The investigation is active and ongoing, with authorities urging the public to provide any additional information. What has been the public reaction? The public reaction has been one of shock and condemnation, with calls for increased security at political events. How did social media respond? Social media saw widespread discussion, with the hashtag hashtag Trump rally shooting trending and users expressing their concerns and support for those affected. What are the next steps? Authorities will continue to investigate Crook's background and motives, aiming to prevent similar incidents in the future. Conclusion The assassination attempt on Donald Trump by Thomas Matthew Crooks has left a profound impact on the nation. This incident highlights the need for vigilance and enhanced security at political events. While the investigation continues, it is crucial to understand the underlying factors that may drive individuals to such extreme actions. The community of Bethel Park, along with the nation, mourns the loss and injury of innocent individuals caught in the crossfire. For more updates and detailed analysis on this developing story, stay tuned to UseWeb videos.